Hey you guys, it's Jada Mahogany, your beauty bestie. I'm back with another video. So today I'm gonna be taking you guys with me on my Sundays, my stylist Sundays, what I do to prep for the week. Um, I'm actually getting ready. Now I'm gonna run a few errands before um, I head to my suite, just because my birthday is this coming up week. So it's a couple things that I need to do. So I'm gonna take you guys with me um, for that. But I really wanted to show y'all something before we get into that. And I ain't put on my lotion yet, so excuse me. The ash. Okay. So, I have my hair slicked back, right, in like a little bun, okay? It's just slicked back in a little, a little tight bun. Now, I know sometimes, and this is, this, this bun is one week old okay and i know sometimes we are in between styles or we're just like not feeling it and we just need something quick that's just gonna work out i am not a huge advocate for ponytails um unless well not long not not long term we'll, we'll clear that up not long term and then in certain ponytail holders you need to use anyways so the product that I want to show you guys, they got this slick back. Now, I personally like a really natural slick back. I don't like it too shiny. I don't like it really greasy. Um, I'm not putting like crazy, goblin crazy edge control on my hair. I'm not, gel is okay, but I feel like gel leaves my head itchy as all heck. And I like to do slick backs on dry hair. I don't like to do my slick backs on wet hair because my hair is more fine and I feel like it's just gonna be more prone to breakage. So this is on blow dried natural hair after I wore the last video where I had the curls in, like I wore that for, um, it might've been a week or so. And then after that, after it was just like poofy, I was just like, let me put it in a bun. So this is it right here, right? So it's Eco Styler Edge Styler. The, the product thing has rubbed off, okay? Now, this I found in Cosmo Pro. I don't even know if they still sell this. This was a learning curve for me. I bought it originally to use on my daughter's hair when she didn't have locks. And I was like, what is this? Because look, it looks like a cream type of product. But y'all, this is the bomb. Like if you just want a really professional like super sleek slick back that's not like super shiny like my hair naturally has a shine to it just because of the other products that i use when i shampoo but ultimately it's not crunchy like it's firm but if i wanted to go in and like comb my hair out i could and then it's just not flaky it might be a, like it's not flaky this my hair is a little dry but i don't think it's flaky i don't know I don't know what that looks like back there, but it's not flaky in the front. And yeah, like it just get like, listen, y'all, if you have a license or if you've seen this somewhere, I've never seen it anywhere other than Cosmo Pro. And I bought this. I I, I don't want to disclose what I bought this because I really truly don't know. So yeah, get that. So let me get dressed. We're gonna go to actually, we're gonna go to Cosmo Pro first. I'm gonna go in, see if they still have this. Let you guys know, I might pick up a couple things and then I need to go to TJ Maxx really quick and make up my bed and a couple other things. So, yep. Okay, so this is just the old TD. Nothing major because I'm getting my hair done too. So I just got on some high waisted jeans, a little black top. I think I'm gonna wear these earrings and then um, I'm probably not gonna throw on a watch, but I might wear my hair and bone or something like that. And um shoes i don't know probably just my converse it's something real chill hi can i get a bacon egg and cheese bagel on an asiago bagel you said bacon egg and cheese on asiago yes Anything else? Yes, can I do the spiced crayon orange tea? I am so sorry, just that one more time. Can I get the spiced crayon orange tea? Yeah, absolutely. Anything else? No, that's all. Oh, I'm so sorry, what size was I going to be? Um, just a 16 ounce. Great. That'll be 1062 for you, Thank you. Okay, y'all. 
I love the Big B. So I just couldn't, I couldn't start my day without it. Yeah, so I got that. I'm gonna get a case of water and some other stuff for my suite. I think that's about it. And then y'all, why do people, why do people think like, okay, so you in the drive-thru, right? And clearly like you're in a parking lot, you know how the line sometimes goes through the parking lot. Like, why do people think they just gonna jump in the line? Like people really trying to get coffee and they're really, really angry. So like, why do you think that you're just gonna pop into the line? Like we're not, we just don't exist, sir, ma'am. No, it's not happening. It's Sunday, but it's it's not happening. Hi. sure but I have been finding myself um getting more Kenra styling products so let me show y'all so I got the silkening gloss I do have the hot spray now I haven't really played around with this it's very it's kind of liquidy and it does leave a firmer hold and I feel like I just haven't figured out how I would prefer to use it. So I haven't used that very, very much. I did get the silkening heat cream. I got that, that's new for me. Now this heat block spray, 10 out of 10. Um, so I've been using that. And then I actually bought this dry texture spray today because I'm gonna style my hair. Um, and then I have this fast dry hair spray. So that's like the camera stuff. I like their styling, their styling products. So I like to keep all my styling products in one bin. I have like a bin for braiding stuff and then I have a bin for um, natural hair. It's a couple like braiding things, like weave related things back here. But for the most part, um, that's not, that's not how I roll. So I'm gonna pop this stuff back in here and then I'll show you guys how I keep, just kind of how I keep the rest of my stuff. And I'm mad because I do not know what my limit is to that. But I'm gonna show you guys how I keep the rest of my items in one second. Now disregard the dirty floor because I am about to sweep. But in my first drawer, I like to keep like my remotes, and stuff over here, some wipes, some sanitizing wipes, some strips, some um, processing caps, my gloves, some loose papers I have, hair pins, rubber bands, just stuff that I need to reach for right away goes in here, like my phone will go in here. If I got like little snacks and stuff that I may be um, snacking on, they'll be in here. Then I keep my hot tools down here. Now I will say this, my heat mat, was in here but i feel like it was just collecting dust and collecting here so i just feel like like lately i've been pulling my hot tools out and sitting up there so i'm just gonna move that up there and then these are kind of my flat irons and my curling irons that i reach for on a normal and then in this drawer is stuff that i don't really reach for but this i do use obviously every single day so i'll eventually put it in there but just some curling irons, um, some Marcel's in there, a blow dryer, just in case, I don't know, one day. You need to really have two blow dryers on you because if you're ever in a situation where your blow dryer goes out, 
you need to have another blow dryer. So that's what goes in there. And then um, got to keep state board compliance with making sure my towels are covered. So that's there. And it's, it's really hard if you do braids and natural hair to keep hair out of stuff because you're dealing with long pieces of braiding hair and natural hair. So this is what I was telling y'all about just a second ago. Um, this is like my braid basket my hair grease gel stuff that i would use for like weed like weaves and stuff like quick weaves that stuff is in there like the mousse and stuff and then this is my natural hair basket i love to just keep my stuff like this because i can just easily reach for it and then down there i keep like my head for when i do wigs my extra snacks for my clients if i have cases of water or anything that goes down there now this side i haven't cleaned <laughs> but it'd be a mess these are clean combs y'all you always want to make sure your clean combs are covered so those are clean combs this is stuff that i use for like wigs weaves closures this is hairsprays i am addicted to hairsprays and this is just where it's, it starts going downhill like randomness more randomness a drawer that's not being used and like more randomness so we're gonna clean that i did do um this area i've already cleaned that so i read up on snacks clean my microwave grab some mint some starburst obviously i like to do water and then i like to keep like creamer sugar some um meals for the water some ketchup packets and then i got some sauce packets I do let my clients eat in here, but it's just the drinks that I can't do. Like the color drinks and stuff like that. It has been known to be a mess. So, um, and then a microwave really for JR to see Listen, there's that. So I'm gonna post y'all up so y'all can see me clean the rest of my room. to show you guys these really quick so if you see these in like your local Marshalls TJ Maxx or anything like that buy these these are really good for cutting the lace off of um frontals closures as well as like if you do brows or anything like that these are really 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 good and really really sharp so if you see these get them and one box is $6.99 okay y'all so it's 2 30 my appointment with Rain's dad is at three o'clock so I just wanted to show you guys my room. It's not all the way clean yet, but I still have to mop and sweep the floor, but this is just basically how it looks or so whatever. My little snack bar, my sign, my chair, my station, I cleaned that up. I'm, I have to clean my chair still and then mop and sweep the floor. Over here is just a little bit of decor. I keep my trash can right there. This is my phone mount, braiding rack. That has like, I love my clients y'all. I say it over and over again, I love my clients. Um, down there, my client have bought me a blow dryer and a curling iron. So I got like some extra stuff down there, some extra cleaning stuff. And then my couch, my basket, and then I keep an extra chair right there. And then underneath here, you see this thing down here? I keep my braiding here under my chair. And then of course, I got a little TV or whatnot. So that's just what's going on in here. Let's go ahead and start doing the color because I wanted, um, really, I wanted Rain's dad to do my color and I still do, but I forgot that. I gotta process the color. I'm just doing a black um, semi-permanent color. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get it started because I, I ain't got time to be up here all day. Okay, y'all, we in here. Um, it's the other provider color that is that is a, a permanent color. The Chromosome Vivid is a semi-permanent color. So, we're all in the clear. So I got my gloves, I brushed out my hair as best as it's gonna get. And pretty much, um, I like to take, y'all don't, don't do this at home. Cause this is just what Jay could be doing. I be using the, the base for the relaxer around my edges so I don't get um, color on my skin. I do have some color pads in case I do, but I'm just gonna mix my color and add. I'm not sure if, 
So sometimes I, I like, typically on my clients, I might add conditioner in there, but I feel like maybe I'll add the repair treatment instead because it's a little bit looser in texture to make this a pretty seamless process. But like I said, if you're not a professional, if you're not a professional, do not go do what I'm, what I'm doing. Because sometimes I'll be like, I shouldn't be doing what I'm doing. And I do because it's my hair and it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to put my cake on. I'm going to put my cape on, cape myself up. That's why I wore a black shirt, y'all, because if something happens, it don't even matter. It don't even matter. So, I'm going to put it. So stupid. So, I'm going to just put a little bit of that. I don't know why this is so... It's probably time for me to throw this away because I do not do relaxers and that relaxer in there that I have in my closet is probably trash. So this kind of reminded me that um, I need to throw that away. So you can use grease to do this, but the reason that I don't like to use grease to base when um, you're doing a silk press because then it could just leave. I don't know, it could leave the edges kind of stiff. It just depends. Okay. And I know JR probably like, why didn't you just wait for me? Why didn't you just wait for me? So I got things to do with people to see places to go. Let me see. Um, and I'm forever losing my color key. <sighs> this is what I mean. This is why I do my own here because it be a lot going on. So I got an applicator bottle because I just really, I ain't got time for this for real. So I'm just putting the color in the applicator bottle. And y'all should I, I shouldn't even be asking y'all. I'm going to, let me see. I think I'm gonna add the treatment in here instead of the conditioner, truly and honestly. Um, should I be? Maybe, maybe not. Does it matter? Maybe or maybe not. So I'm gonna add a little bit of this. It's a treatment product. Really, I'm just adding it to loosen up this some and to use as a treatment for the color as well. Shake, 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 shake. Ooh. A little bit. Shake, 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 shake it up, shake it up. And we're gonna speed this process along. My color is processing in Jada fashion. I might leave it on for the 45 minutes. I may not, I may do a cute little 20, but I have my seamless clip-ins here and I got two packs of uh, the Yaki Straight. And I did that because I feel like people be getting regular, like regular Brazilian straight bundles, regular version straight bundles, and that does not match with your hair texture. Like, unless you just, unless your hair is really silky straight already, when you um, get a blowout, it don't be blending. So I know my hair, it wasn't gonna blend good as far as the texture is concerned. So I went with the Yaki Straight. Now, what I will say is, in a perfect world, I would love to do a kinky straight. I love the way kinky straight hair looks, but my hair 
is straighter than that and I feel like it's more fine in texture so it's not a good it's truly not a good blend okay so this is going to do it for me um I'm not going to braid down my hair to install my clip-ins I actually want my natural hair out with the clip-ins in between just to really give it that you know so I'm gonna let this process, I'll be right back. It's really nothing else to say about the seamless clip-ins except they're bomb AF. Um, the ones that I have are super bomb. And I honestly, I didn't have to color my hair, but I just felt like if I didn't color it, it just wasn't gonna be a perfect match. And y'all, I just gotta have that perfect match. Like I just have to have the perfect color match where it really, really, really blends, especially with my natural hair. I, I just wanted it to be like super duper flawless. So I just did what I wanted to do. You can do what you wanna do, but Jay's gonna do what she wants to do. So 20 minutes, I'll be back. I'm gonna get my shampoo. Rain's dad's gonna do my shampoo. Then after my shampoo, I'm gonna blow out my hair. I may do that on camera, I may not. I probably will not. I don't have time, it's getting late, I'm tired. So, um, I'll probably press my hair out and then when it's time to install the clip-ins, then I'll jump back on. Okay, y'all, so I'm done in here for today. I got my color on and I got a trim. And yeah, so I'm about to go home now. I'm about to go home. I'll probably put in my clip-ins tomorrow. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. And there will be a part two and that will probably be a birthday vlog tomorrow. So see y'all. Thank you.